Hello, crafters. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, and it is graduation season. Just kidding. This is my graduation cap from two years ago when I graduated high school. Anyway, today's video is really unique because we're going to be doing crafts for your graduates. And no, I'm not going to show you how to do a money lay or candy lay or a flower lay because those are not unique. There's nothing special about them because everybody's doing them. So instead, I'm going to be showing you a very unique way to spoil your graduate with money. A money necktie. So for your convenience, I have put everything that you need to know, all the supplies you're going to need and how much of everything you're going to need down in the description below because this is a really long video and we need to just jump right into it. So for the money tie that I'm making, I'm using $45 worth of cash. I'm going to be using $120, $110, two $5 bills, and five $1 bills. And so we can't have crinkled up money like this because this is bad. We want nice, clean money. So if you can go to the bank and get nice, crisp money, that is awesome because that is what will work best. But if not, here's a home remedy so that you can flatten out the money you currently have. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your little misty spray bottle here. And then you're going to heat up your flat iron to a pretty low setting. Mine's at like half heat. Don't put it all away because we don't want to burn the money. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to hold that money up in the air and spray it twice. Make sure it is not a darting, you know, thing. Make sure it's a nice mist. You're going to just kind of spray it on both sides. Voila. And now we iron. Just like that and it'll become very nice and crisp. And there you go. What was once a crim crinkled up. One dollar bill is now a nice, clean, flat dollar bill. And it's not perfect, but that's okay because you're going to be folding it anyways. So without further ado, I'm going to iron the rest of them and then jump straight into making the tie. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take all my money and lay it out in the exact way that I want it. So this is going to be the length of my tie. As you see, it's at the almost very top and almost the very bottom, so I would start at the very top and then work your way down. I started about here and had to move it back. So now you're going to take your pencil, and I'm just going to draw a little line at the top and a little line at the bottom for measurement's sake. So now we gather up the money, and we will use it in a little bit. I made a three inch line and put a dot at the one and a half inch, the halfway mark. And then I just made another line at whatever length, kind of brought it down, and made a dot at the same point down here. And then I put a dot here and made the line, and then a dot here and made the line to create the knot. Our second line is right down here, and this is the bottom of the tie. Now I'm just going to kind of make a dot where I think the bottom should be. And using the $1 bill, putting the center of that, right there. And I'm actually going to draw a line right above it. This is where we will draw the lines to make the bottom part of the tie. You can't see what I'm talking about. Wow. We're going to make this right here. And by doing that, I drew a line right there. That is the length of the dollar bill. Our dot is right there and our line is at the top there. Now, just using my own judgment and how I want the tie to look, I want George Washington's face right at the bottom. So, I'm going to kind of make it there and there. Alright, now that we have made the bottom part of our tie and the neck of our tie, I'm just going to connect the dots. So now that I've made the outline of my tie, I'm going to go snippity snip. Alright, now we've got the outline for our money tie. Isn't that pretty? I think maybe the bottom part here should have been a little wider for the money, but we'll make it work. It'll be okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to poke a hole here and here. And this is how we will make the neck part with the string, or with the ribbon. Alright, I have used my pencil to make some very bad holes in the top of the tie. So now I'm just going to take this ribbon 
and hopefully figure out a way to put it through and tie a knot on this side. All right, I've tied a little knot here and now it will not pull through the tie. So now using myself as an example and maybe my brother, I'm just going to figure out how long I need this ribbon to be and then cut it and put the hole through, put the ribbon through this hole here. And now for the fun part and what I feel is going to be the trickiest part, adding the money. I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. What I want is each face going all the way down because I think that would be hilarious. So I'm going to place it exactly where I want it and wrap and fold. So now what I'm going to do is you see this sticking out here? I'm just going to fold it back so that we cannot see it anymore. And same thing with the top, just going to bend it down so that we cannot see it anymore. I think that looks pretty good. For the first time doing it, I'm kind of impressing myself. So now I'm just going to be securing it down with some gift wrap tape. And now you've got pretty cool money necktie. Right there, just the knot, not the whole necktie. So I'm pretty much just going to be doing the same thing all the way down, just taking the money and wrapping it and then folding it on the back so that it fits and then taping it. Right, guys now at this point I'm actually going to start at the bottom because it would overlap at weird spots so I'm just going to do this one and then make this overlap just the top of the bill so it's not cutting off precious George Washington's face <laughs> Final result, it'll hang about this low. I'm really short, so it might be a little higher or whatever. This is the final product. It goes to about half of my thigh, which is pretty good considering they're gonna be having a lot of other stuff going on in the neck area, more lays, more just stuff in general. So it's good that this is long because it'll be bulky and it'll probably just sit up like this, you know, on top of their chest. It's a pretty good length tie, if I do say so myself. I made the strand long so that it can fit over their heads. All right, guys, one thing I did forget to show at the end was that I did a, something a little extra to the back of the tie. This is the front, this is the back. I retraced on the poster paper that was left over this tie. I just retraced it and then, you know, made it smaller so that there's an edge here. So I traced it to here, but then I cut it here just so it would go on the back and make it look nicer on the back. And then what my family and I are gonna do, we're just going to take like Sharpie or something like that and we're gonna write on here like, congrats grad 2019 or something like that. And then write my family's name on there so that he knows who it's from. Not Like he's not gonna know who it's from when we put it on him. I don't know. So that's just a little something extra that you can do on the back of this if you want. It makes it look really nice and clean on the back, but if not, you can just leave it as it was because I thought it looked fine like that. I mean, it's the back of the money tie, whatever. I hope this was helpful. This is my first time ever making a money necktie and it went, I think, rather well. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And so hopefully you can get the same result as me and give your grad a very unique money tie for graduation. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe. Peace out.